In this video, we take a look at new changes and features in iOS 14 Beta 3. How's it going ladies and gents, boys and girls? In this video, we're gonna take a look at what's new in iOS 14 Beta 3. So, first of all, you get a new explainer pop-up when editing the home screen. And this is really nice because this wasn't very clear before. Um, it wasn't very discoverable, but now you get a nice explainer pop-up that tells you how to edit your home screen pages. So it tells you to tap the page dots and that's how you go in and add or remove home screen pages to keep your iPhone organized. So let's just do ahead and do it right now. We just simply tap the page dots and there you go. So you can edit pages, you can uncheck the pages you wanna hide, check the pages you wanna bring back, and then simply tap done. Super simple, super easy. And you also get an app library explainer pop-up. When you swipe over to the app library, this is what you're gonna find. And it just sort of clues you in instead of just leaving you hanging, but tells you how the app library works. What's the purpose of it? The purpose is to keep your iPhone organized and to allow you to quickly access all the apps on your, on your device, even if you don't have those apps stored on the home screen. So as you can see, it automatically sorts those in categories. And then lastly, you get a widget explainer pop-up when you swipe over to the widget center. So this pop-up explains how to reorganize widgets and how to add new widgets to your widget center or the home screen. And what's cool is that you see it actually canonizes the word or the phrase jiggle mode, which is amazing to me. Some people call it wiggle mode, others call it edit mode, but now we know for sure that it's officially called Indeed, jiggle mode. Now on beta three, you'll also notice that the page dots are in a lower position when compared to the previous beta. So you can see uh, beta two on the right and beta three on the left. And the page dots are just closer, a little bit closer to the dock. And you probably already noticed it, but there's an updated music app icon. So now it kind of harkens back to the iOS seven days with that peach colored app icon. You can compare it with the previous beta here. What do you think? And to go along with that, the Apple Music widget background has been updated to reflect that same color. So you can see beta three on the left, beta two on the right. I don't know, I think I prefer the lighter background instead. What do you guys think? You also find new glyphs for the music library menu. So you see playlist, artists, albums, they all have their corresponding glyph. And I think it looks more complete that way. And in beta three, there's a more sanctioned off legacy widget area. So if you go into edit mode on your widget center, you're gonna see this little customize button. That customize button is dedicated to your legacy widgets for apps that haven't updated with iOS 14 widgets, which is gonna be all of them right now, all third-party apps. And once iOS 14 is released, of course, all these third-party applications will be updated as well. So if you tap edit, you'll notice a little subtle difference between the two. So this time beta three is on the right. I don't know why I keep switching positions of the phone, but nonetheless, you can see how the legacy widgets are sort of quarantined off from the rest of your widgets. And in beta three, the smart stack now has a large size option, as you can see right here. So in the previous beta release, you only had the small and the medium options. Now you have this nice large option that shows you more information. And in beta three, you can now share music to Snapchat stories. Don't use Snapchat, but nonetheless, for those that do, you'll be happy to know that you can do this. So creating the story and there you go. And now you get an additional Memoji face covering. So along with the original face covering that appeared in the initial beta, you get this one right here, which is just a little bit different. Doesn't have the same amount of detail as far as wrinkles in that original face covering, but of course you can still go in and change the colors and you can Ming mug the camera just like that if you want to. Yeah, okay, so let's move on. There's a new clock widget. So this is available on the iPad. It's also available on the iPhone, of course. So there are two options, two small options, one for city and one for a world clock. There's also a medium world clock option that gives you just a little bit more detail uh, for those that need that. But the nice thing is that the clock, just like it does in the stock clock app, will update the background based on the time of day for the world clock options there. And you can go in and easily edit those world clocks and adjust the locations that are present just like that. So super simple to do this. Just go in, edit widget. You can rearrange the cities. Go in there and tap the ones you want to update those. 
and it really couldn't be simpler. And in beta 3, yes, finally, you can now go in and delete saved colors in markup. Just tap and hold one of your saved colors and tap delete. And I also find that it's easier to move apps from the app library to the home screen. The apps sort of pop up when you hold on them and you can easily move them to the home screen. You'll also be happy to know that the other storage bug is fixed in beta 3, so no longer showing that it's taking up a ton of storage there. And there's a new Shazam shortcut action animation. So when you Shazam via shortcuts, this is what you find. I mean, Apple didn't have to add this, but I just love the added attention to detail. Little subtle things like this make all the difference in my opinion. Here's a big one though. Apple Music now recognizes where you left off. When you close Apple Music and you start it again, it remembers where you left off. So it remembers the current song you were playing and also the position of the currently playing song on the timeline. So you can see the now playing interface is blank on the previous beta, but here on beta three, you can see not only does it remember the song, but it also remembers the position of the playhead. That's a pretty nice update in my opinion. Display Zoom is a feature that's been around since iPhone 6, and it allows users to make interface elements like text, buttons, and icons larger so that they're more legible. And the way this works is well explained by 9to5Max Felipe Esposito. So Display Zoom changes the entire system interface to the one used by another smaller phone. So for instance, if you have an iPhone with a 5.5 inch screen, then Display Zoom will use the same interface from an iPhone with a 4.7 inch screen, the next one down. Makes sense, right? Well, in beta three, it's been discovered that Apple's working to adapt the iOS interface to a new resolution, the same one used by Display Zoom on 5.8 inch iPhones in iOS 14. So with that said, it's very likely that this interface is being prepared for that smaller iPhone 12, which has been rumored to have the 5.4 inch screen. And where there's smoke, there's fire in this case. So you can see the simulator comparison between the 5.4 inch iPhone and the iPhone 11 Pro. And I have to say, I am definitely looking forward to that smaller iPhone. And in iPad OS 14 beta three, you can drag and drop songs directly into playlists just like this. That's real nice. Let's go ahead and tap the playlist and there we go. And just like the recently released Safari technical preview for Mac, there is a new VP9 decoding option available in experimental settings inside Safari settings. So if you go here, you can see VP9 decoding. Why this is important? Well, VP9 is going to allow access to 4K video for things like YouTube, which use VP9 decoding for their 4K video. So previously you couldn't access 4K video on Apple devices via YouTube, which is ridiculous, but that looks to be changing. And there's also location-based hand washing reminders for those with an Apple Watch paired on the latest beta. And the health app will also display the number of washes. Looks like I got some work to do. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on this latest beta? Let me know down below in the comments section. If you appreciated this video, please thumbs up. That helps other people find it. Thanks for watching. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.